Hello people of YouTube, it's Deepak here, and welcome to DCS World 2.9.0 and Heat Blur Simulations AGS 37 Vigin Module. Welcome to bonus video number one, Lua-based data cartridges. Today I'm going to show you one of the methods of creating a Lua-based data cartridge, which is very, very handy for use in multiplayer missions, and probably various other situations as well. Uh, I'm going to use for this purpose the tool called Combat Flight. It's a very, very nice piece of flight planning software, and uh, I recommend checking it out. There is a free trial, uh, but it's, uh, it's a paid-for piece of software if you find it useful. Uh, very good in multiplayer, and uh, if you're organizing squadrons for like virtual online squadrons and things like that. Uh, today we're going to make use of its functionality for exporting a flight as a data cartridge for the Vigin. Now you could actually make these data cartridges by hand. Uh, the file format is not too complex, but I'll leave that as a uh, an exercise for the viewer. Uh, today we're going to do it the easy way. So uh, with Combat Flight up, I go to the mission, actually sorry, I go to the object tab and I click Flight. We're going to create an AI task flight, which is air interdiction, and we're going to choose AGS-37 Vigin. We're not going to bother with the payload because um, we're not actually doing full flight planning. We're just going to export a series of, of waypoints and so on, and it's going to be a singleton flight. So I'm now going to go to pick waypoints. We're going to start at Akrotiri. Uh, we're going to fly out here. And I'm going to generate a whole bunch of waypoints almost at random uh, because the... Uh, the mission file includes uh, a flight plan that has five waypoints, so I just want to make sure it's more than that. With that done, uh, we can right-click to stop creating waypoints, and, uh, oops, no, actually, I did that wrong, and uh, we now have a complete flight plan with nine waypoints. We could tweak these waypoints and set various settings on the left-hand side here. I'm not going to bother, but I'm also going to create a couple of reference points, because uh, Combat Flight also provides the ability to export reference points as mark points, and this is quite a handy bit of functionality. Normally you have to create these in the cockpit by typing in coordinates. So I'm going to make a reference point here, and I'm going to label it FARP, and I'm going to make another one over here, and I'm going to label it checkpoint. And that should do it for now. So we've got a complete flight plan and two reference points. We can now go to the mission tab and you'll note that we have a button specifically for the Vigin here, AGS-37. If I hover over this it says generate a data cartridge for the AGS-37. I'm going to click this and from the drop down I'm going to choose my flight and it will then confirm to us the flight plan in, in its totality. And on the right hand side we have the option of assigning mark points from reference points, also assigning a RB-15 missile planning points from reference points, and we could also create recce points as well, but I'll cover that in a dedicated reconnaissance tutorial later. So we're going to select the FARP as BX1 and the checkpoint as BX2, and that means we now have two mark points in this data cartridge as well. I'm also going to set B3 as a target point by ticking this box. That will mean that it becomes M3, and that makes our jobs a little bit easier there. Uh, and you would also have the option of locking the ETA, which would effectively create a time on target for that point, but we're not going to do that right now. So we can click Export. This will make an INI file that you can name pretty much whatever you want. Uh, one thing I would say is that um, it needs to be in the Save Games folder uh, inside a folder called DCS AGS 37. This will be created for you by default. Uh, you'll also find if you look in this folder that the system uh, also stores your most recently auto-generated data cartridges in here as well. Take a look at those in your favorite text editor if you want to check out the file format. So go ahead and save. I'm going to say yes, and then OK, and that's the data cartridge now created. Next, I'll see you in the cockpit, and I'll show you how to load it. OK, you join me in the cockpit now. Uh, I'm going to quickly go ahead and get ground power connected. Power. That means we can proceed without having to actually start the engine. Ground power is now on. OK, master switch to on, and we'll let the computer boot up. And while we're doing that, we'll bring up the kneeboard. And uh, note on the kneeboard, uh, the, uh, the flight plan that's included in the mission has five waypoints. This is going to be our way of telling that we've got the correct uh, cartridge. So B1 to B5. If I go to the next page, it just has the landing field here. 
So if I go forwards a couple of uh, couple of pages, we've got the data cartridge selected. If I do Control Alt and C, uh, I get to the Combat Flight Custom cartridge. Now I've had a few of these. Uh, if I go back a couple, I've actually got one labeled Test One. Control Shift and C allows me to go forward through them. Uh, I've got Test Two, and in the most recent one I created, I didn't actually change the name on it, so it comes up as Combat Flight Custom Cartridge. If you edit the INI file, the name of the cartridge is actually at the top of the file, and you can edit that with a text editor. So I edited those first two to give them memorable names. I recommend you do this, because otherwise they'll all just say Combat Flight Custom Cartridge. Uh, but uh, for this most recent one I created on video, that's, it's got the default name, so we'll leave this one selected. Cartridge 22, Combat Flight Custom Cartridge. I can now close the kneeboard, look over my left shoulder and insert the cartridge, and then go to the computer as usual and select Ref Lola, main mode, input, niner, zero, niner, niner, and press LS. And it's now flashing the number nine. It's loading my data cartridge. Cartridge is now loaded, we get all zeros. I put it back to actual position and output mode, and we can confirm that we have B1, B2, B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8, and I think there's no B9, yeah. Uh, the, the last one came up as a landing uh, waypoint, so we have an L1, uh, and we don't have an L2. So that's the entire flight plan loaded. We should also be able to confirm that those two waypoints, sorry, those two mark points were loaded into the system. So I'm going to press BX and select 1. And there we go, we have BX1 and it's showing up correctly. BX2, that one's also showing up correctly. So our entire data cartridge has been successfully loaded. That's uh, how that's done. Well, actually, uh, one thing I should check, did it actually show up correctly as a target point? Yes. B3 is actually showing as M3, so that information was also copied across correctly. Nice and simple. So, Combat Flight, really easy way of doing it. Alternatively, take a look at the, the file format and you'll find that you can actually make these in a text editor with a little bit of extra work. I hope you all enjoyed that. I'll see you all next time.